What up, though, y'all? Joe Quan, the hooligan, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer. I'm in Pontiac, Michigan. I'm checking out this spot that I'm going to be doing a job interview at tomorrow morning. So I'm just out here getting my bearings, making sure that I have the location accurately in my head so that I don't fuck up and be late for a job interview. So I'll see y'all in the morning. And it looks like I just got me a new job. I'm going to be a gravel hauler. I'm going to be a modern day Flintstone. I'm not going to uh, give you the name of my new company yet. I'm not just going to cram this information down your throat. I'm going to be a gentleman. Lube it up and ease it in. But anyway, I just got me a new gig as a gravel hauler. So that's what's up. CDL school is definitely paying off. I'm uh, here in Pontiac. I'm about to go to uh, Flat Rock and take my drug test and that ought to be no problem because i ain't been smoking weed for a minute i miss the hell out of weed and i hope the government do something about this federal uh marijuana law because people there's nothing wrong with weed i ain't never seen a motherfucker uh get into a, a weed crash or a weed fight i ain't never seen nobody steal food i haven't seen some females suck some dick for weed I've seen it. I can't say that I haven't. I've seen that. But I ain't never seen nobody break it in nobody's house for weed. So I hope they get that taken care of. And the first day that they remove this marijuana prohibition, I'm going to smoke me a blunt. So I'm about to get up out of Pontiac. I'm going to take my drug test. Y'all ain't about to uh, have y'all follow me in on this shit. I just wanted to let y'all niggas know that CDL school paid off. Unlike Punk Ass Specs Howard. It did pay off, and you will never get my money. You'll never get that ten thousand I owe you. Never, ever, 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 ever. Being introduced to gravel hauling today. We on uh, about load number. We about to pick up our seventh load of uh, busted up concrete. We've been dropping off to uh, the city of Centerline, and while we're there, we pick up some dirt and drop it off at different locations. Uh, like a lot of houses being torn down, and uh, use dirt to fill up those uh, lots. So it's a pretty good experience my first day as a gravel hauler here. Second training day. Morning procedure is uh, normally uh, to a pre-trip. Take care of a little paperwork and then off to our first load. And this morning, looks like we're gonna be picking up some broken up asphalt. Hold on, let me flip this camera over here so you can see. This is what we're gonna be picking up. Some broken up asphalt. That's what we're going to be hauling this morning. So our excavator here is going to scoop it up, put it in the truck, and uh, we will be on our way. Going on up. There it is at the end. I'm going to switch my feet, put that motherfucker in first gear, and All ease right. out. Same time. These are the dog ears. Yep, them the dog ears. Now you get in some trucks, it's gonna be different. You might have your dog ears over here. All you right. know what I'm saying? It all depends on what truck you get in, cause Peterbilt and Kenworth is different. All right. Peterbilt, all that shit be right. Uh, older, the uh, older Kenworths, Peterbilt's and shit be about right here. All you right. will see. So now nah, that's a good gun. Boom. So these are my dog ears right here. Hit that button, bad boys go up. Learning is fun. Another fun day learning to grab a hauling and trade. I'm gonna clock out and then I'm gonna go uh, sell some CDs. On the way back to the yard, we passed this hotel and I saw this crispy ass old school up here. Now, if anybody sitting in this car, I'm gonna holler at their ass or around them. Nope. 
not there. All right. Indeed. I appreciate that support, baby. Thanks for the love, y'all. I really appreciate you, all right? Yep, yep. I appreciate you, brother. Really do, okay? Thanks for the love. Uh, 15 songs that I wrote with the dudes. Some nice underground Detroit hip hop on the selling them today. I'm letting them go for ten dollars. Get it for another support. Get it to help me build the company. Some great local music. I can use your help. I tell you what, I'm about to let you grab one for five dollars. Is that better for you? Indeed, I'll be out here. How about you, family? Wanna grab one for five? Indeed, I'll be out here all of whenever you can, alright? I appreciate you, brother. Thanks for that support, okay? Find me on YouTube. So this is what I got to come home from work to? I mean, it's gonna happen. <laughs> what is this shit? God damn. This is what I gotta come home from work to, huh? Wow. Wowzy. Damn shame, boy. It was a shooting? Wow. No, nah, we uh we was on the Southfield Freeway. Yeah, I see. We was in Macomb that's County. The only reason I actually came and looked out because I said maybe that's Ryan in there. No, that wasn't us. No, that's not Ryan in there. Alright, I'm at my new little hangout spot. It's a low-key truck stop. The only one within the limits of the city of Detroit. It's a low-key little spot right here on Central. And uh, I started hanging out here like the night that I got my CD up. This was my celebration spot. So I was uh, looking for spots to work on the Southwest, and I seen Oasis Truck. And I thought it might be a place to get a job. So I'm like, okay, let me check this mobile out. Just drove down, because it was right down the street. I'm like, oh shit, this is a truck stop pool table? You know what I'm saying? So I come to some pool, watch the TV. They got Wi Fi, so I hook up shit on the website here. And uh, now, I'm employed as well, so that's what's up. So, uh, I ain't gonna be putting up too many uh, videos Gravel Harlem right now. I'm just gonna get acclimated to this new job, but I'm gonna hit y'all up with some of the uh, truck driver school uh, videos. So, watch out for them video blogs, those will be the next set. I won't be doing too many solid CDs on the streets video blogs, but truck video blogs gonna be coming up eventually. After I get accolated, I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of bills to pay. This next check gonna look good. Them Snyder checks, they took care of the bills, ain't got no more of that money. But this next check might be able to eat a little bit off that. So, these are the adventures of your friendly underground neighborhood rap dealer slash amateur trucker slash king of the pool table. You got took out by amateur. I'm the king of this pool table right now. So uh, until next time, folks, your friendly neighborhood rap daily Joe Pondahoolie. How do you turn this thing off?